Hi, today we're going to talk about using might as well in English. Let's get started. Might as well is a complex expression. Let's see how it is used in English. Example number one. Peggy can't go to the party. She might as well watch a movie at home. Example two. I might as well walk to the store. I need the exercise anyway. Today we're going to talk about how to make the expression and then how to use it. The expression might as well is easy to make in English. Simply put it before the base form of the verb. For example, Shelly might as well go to Orlando. We might as well have tacos for dinner. How to use it. Generally, this means you are unable to do your first choice. So you need to settle for your second choice. For example, my car is still getting repaired. I might as well take the bus. I can't use the car, so I'll have to do something else. It can also mean something like, there is no reason not to do it. For example, should we go jogging? Might as well. There's nothing better to do. Now you try it. We'll give you some situations or scenarios and think about how you can use might as well in these situations. Scenario number one. Jill invited Mark to the Mary Bandalo concert on Friday, but Mark just called to say that he is ill and can't make it. What should Jill do? Her cousin Jen is in town this weekend. Jen loves Mary Bandalo's music. What should Jill do? Use might as well in your answer. Think about it. Here's some possible answers. Jill might as well invite Jen, since Mark can't make it. Jill might as well give the tickets to Jen. Can you think of other answers? Scenario two. Bob is at the supermarket. He needs to buy some laundry detergent. He notices that the supermarket is out of Wish, his favorite brand. However, Towny detergent is on sale at half price. What do you recommend that Bob do? What should Bob do? Use might as well in your answer. Here's some possible answers. Bob might as well buy Towny since Wish is out of stock. Bob might as well get Towny detergent since it's on sale. Hope that was helpful. Now you know how to use these expressions correctly in English. Remember to practice. That's all for today on Say It Right in English. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, Click on the links below, youtube.com at englishfree4u or eslgold.com slash h-u-m-i-x. See you in the next video.